Y'all, they held a rally for Kamala Harris last night with Beyonce as the headliner. And let me tell you, the drama started when Beyonce left the stage. So Kamala's rally was all set to be the event and they pulled out Beyonce to pack the crowds. Oh, people were hyped, but not for Kamala. The second Queen Bee dropped that mic, people were practically sprinting for the exits. Like the fastest cardio they've done in months. By the time Kamala got to the mic, half the seats were empty. And here's the kicker. Half the crowd started chanting, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. Now that's a plot twist she didn't see coming. But Kamala, in true winging it fashion, hit him with her classic line. If you don't like it, go to the smaller rally down the street. Ma'am, that's not the flex you think it is. Can we talk about the irony here? The only thing she managed to cover was abortion, while everyone else was covering the exits. So maybe next time let's wait to bring Beyonce out till after you speak because the rally wasn't giving hope and change. It was giving hope to catch Beyonce's Uber outside. Yeah! <laughs> well, there you go. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Man, we got to talk about this Joe Rogan experience featuring Donald Trump. Yes, the highly anticipated interview on a podcast stream, and it did not disappoint. When I watched it, it had about 800,000 views on there and on the first 30 minutes. And right now, as I'm filming this, 12 hours later, it's over 12 million views. So I always got more publicity than other people, and I didn't, it wasn't like I was trying. In fact, I don't know exactly why. Maybe you can tell me why. Oh, I could definitely I, tell you. You said a lot of wild shit. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you said a lot of wild shit, maybe and then is. CNN, in their all their brilliance, by highlighting your wild shit, made you much more popular. Yeah. Anytime Mr. Trump goes on a podcast, if the person got 2 million subscribers, the viewership goes to 4 or 5. And Mr. Rogan here, I believe he got uh, 12 million subs or something like that. So I'm pretty sure this is going to go two times over. The rebels are Republicans now. They're like, you want to yeah, be I a rebel? You want to be punk you're... rock? You want to like yeah. buck the system? You're yeah. a conservative now. That's the, mm -hmm. that's how crazy. And then the liberals are now pro pro silencing criticism they're they're pro censorship online they're they're talking about they regulating them. free speech and they're regulating the first amendment it's bananas to watch man oh man every time that trump goes on somebody's podcast the, the viewership goes 10 times over five to 10 times over but when miss kamala goes on somebody's podcast they lose viewership can you imagine kamala doing this show She'd I be, could imagine her doing the laying, show. She'd be laying on the floor. She was supposed to do it, and she might still she do it, and do I it. hope she does. She's not going to I do will it. talk to her like a human being. I will if try to have a conversation with her. If she did this kind of an her. interview with you, I hope she does, because it would be a mess. She'd be <laughs> laying on the floor comatose. She'd, you'd be saying, call in the medics. And rumor have it that she's going on Club Shay Shay. Club Shay Shay, sir, you're going to put a death nail in your coffin also. Blacks for Trump. Mm -hmm. They feel that Trump is better for the black community. Can you explain the Donald Trump's history with blacks? Where did this come that all of a sudden, I mean, it's, it's been like this because a lot of people used to say, uh, I'm, I'm Donald Trump or the ghetto because he would, I mean, for a lot of blacks, not all, but for some blacks, he was, Madam VP, whether we want to admit it or not, he's revered by some blacks. But here's the thing. The question for everybody, should he be president of the United States? Okay. Right? That's the question. Should he have the ability to, to sit behind the seal of the president of the United States when he says he wants to terminate the Constitution of the United States? You know what that would mean? In the Constitution of the United States is your Fourth Amendment right against unreasonable search and seizure. Your Fifth Amendment right, mm -hmm. your Sixth Amendment right to an attorney. Well, a lot right? of rights going to be gone. The First Amendment. But, but the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. Yes. Look, I'm in favor of the Second Amendment. I don't believe we should be taking anybody's guns away. While Trump is doing an interview with the top podcaster in the world, Mr. Joe Rogan, she goes out in Houston and she got another celebrity, Miss Beyonce. Beyonce comes out with Kelly Rowland. I don't know what the hell she wearing. Kelly Rowland, what the hell you wearing? I mean, is this a thing now? 
I first seen this at uh Grand Jean Pierre, the Haitian Libyan press secretary, when she came out with somebody's jacket on, looking like her daddy's suit. Is this what we're doing now? We wearing Steve Harvey suits. Ugh. Anyway, Beyonce gets on the stage and she says this. A woman who's been pushing for what this country really needs right now. Unity. It's impossible not to feel the energy in this room. The positivity. The community. The humanity. We are at the precipice of an incredible shift, the brink of history. Yes, the highly anticipated speech from Beyonce. She did a five-minute spiel, although people thought she was going to perform, but she didn't perform. She did a five-minute speech. This is the second time that they say that Beyonce is going to perform, and she did a no-show in the beginning during the DNC convention, and now... They say she's going to perform. They got everybody out here, 30,000 people at this arena, and she doesn't perform. Uh, you know, this is uh, news that a lot of people have been waiting to hear, whether or how Beyonce might show her support for former uh, for, for Vice President Harris. And we have learned from three sources our team has that Beyonce will appear with Vice President Harris tomorrow in Houston, Texas. Uh, and the source says that uh, Beyonce will perform during that appearance uh, in Texas, obviously where she's from. The Kamala Harris rally in Houston, Texas was absolutely insane. You saw Beyonce and Kelly Rowland walked out. Kelly looked like Beetlejuice. And then after that, Kamala walks out, right? She gives him the hug and everybody's so mad because they're like, what, what, Beyonce only spoke for three minutes? I thought we were gonna get a free concert. Wait, what, what's going on? Wait, why is she hugging Kamala? I thought this was a concert. Oh, and then Kelly and Beyonce have a nice little moment and reminiscing. And then everybody realizes it was a bait and switch and they walked their butts out. As soon as Kamala got on that dang stage, everybody was pissed off, rightfully so. They duped us, they duped the entire city of Houston, Texas. 30,000 pissed off people right before an election less than two weeks away. What is Kamala Harris thinking? It was a night to forget, I'll tell you that much. Kamala Harris should be. Now, we all know that Kamala does not have any kids. Kamala have never reared a child. Kamala have never raised a child. Even though she got stepkids, those stepkids were already grown when she came into the picture. So she have nothing in common with you. I'm not here as a politician. I'm here as a mother. A mother who cares deeply about the world my children and all of our children live in. A world where we have the freedom to control our bodies. A world where we're not divided. Our past, our present, our future merge to meet us here. Beyonce, you're the biggest hypocrite out here. You talk to all these single ladies, wave your hands in the sky, all you single lady boss ladies, but yet you got sense enough to go and get married. You are under a man's coverage. You don't have any bastard child. Unlike 90% of your beehive, you got some sense. You only got married and got kids in a marriage. But yet you're telling these young folks out here to delete children. Out the world, my children and all of our children live in. A world where we have the freedom to control our bodies. A world where we're not divided. Our past. Our present, our future, merge to meet us here. What? Imagine our daughters growing up, seeing what's possible with no ceilings, no limitations. Imagine our grandmothers. Imagine what they feel right now. Those who have lived to see this historic day. The only thing Kamala is passionate about is deleting children and laughing about it. <laughs> Y'all don't find that 
odd. She don't have no stake in our future because she don't have any kids. She don't care about your kids. If you have any male sons, she's going to send your male son to go fight Iran or China or Russia. She don't have any skin in the game. She's one and done. When she's gone, that's it. But you guys with children, with boys, your boy's going to be in the front line if she gets elected. This is more likely to happen than Donald Trump putting you in a gulag. War, WW3, is more likely to happen under Kamala. And especially if you have young boys, 16, 17, 18 years old. If she gets in, your son is going to fight for a meaningless war. We've been there. Generation X, we've been there with the Bush and the Cheneys. We've done that. We spilled blood already. But this one's going to be bigger. Because, again, she doesn't have any skin in the game. She doesn't have a lineage. She don't have any legacy other than her cats. Anyway, that's the thought for the day. If you guys got any value on my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. And I'll see you next time.